Welcome back to the channel guys, Kirk Kreifels coming to you with my impressions of the large refresh that we just uh, got from Lexus on the 2020 RX. You're going to hear my thoughts coming from a salesperson of the product itself. I can't wait to get into it. I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. It's gorgeous outside. I'm gonna take you guys with me on a little reflection vlog as I talk about all the improvements that they made on the 2020 RX. Don't forget to smash that like button for the new 2020 RX. And of course, guys, hit subscribe for more Lexus news upcoming as well as my impressions. Okay, so what do I think of the 2020 RX? I think it's everything they needed to do just short of a complete redesign. Um, starting with the styling, I think they absolutely nailed it. The grill was the number one thing that pushed people away from the RX, and it still does. I mean, the grill hasn't changed absolutely substantially, but they needed to do a couple things to the grill to make it a lot more attractive, and they did that. Um, they reduced that thick, thick chrome piece around um, the grill, which a lot of people thought it looked like a, a fish of some sort. And they also replaced that shutter design uh, with something that's a lot more si similar that you see with the brand new UX. And I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You know, the new headlights are home run in my opinion. We haven't seen the non-optional headlights, meaning the standard headlights. We haven't seen what those look like, but the daytime running lights was one of those things that they absolutely needed to improve. Um, <clears throat> the 2019s through 2016s were very, they looked like 10 years old when they came out. Um, so the new ones are much more smooth looking. They look like the same running the headlights, uh, daytime running headlights that you see on like <clears throat> the, the new UX and the new ES and the LC. They're much more streamlined and they, they don't look like Christmas tree lights anymore. But really that's all they did for the styling. Um, we got a couple new wheels. We haven't seen the new 18 inch wheels yet. I'm sure they're gonna look okay. We got the new luxury build wheels, which was a surprise for me because I only knew about the 18 inch wheels coming out. Um, so the new luxury wheels are definitely a welcome uh, improvement to the styling. So we're not gonna see the 20 inch luxury wheels anymore that have the inserts in them. They weren't really that successful of a product for Lexus. It added a customization option because you could change out those inserts, but no one ever did it. And it was just, uh, we just ended up ordering them all with the black inserts. So done with the styling. Like I said, I think they did a good job uh, overall. For the interior, interior is largely unchanged. And I thought they were gonna change it more because of the touchscreen. So, Touchscreen is one of the best things that they could have possibly done for the RX because every single Lexus review that you read is always harping on the touchpad. The touchpad isn't that bad, guys, I promise. Sorry, I almost got hit in the face with uh, something. It's it's allergy season, so some, some sort of seed almost floated into my mouth. But the touchpad, they got rid of the mouse, which I don't like the mouse. Uh, they introduced the touchpad, and the touchpad is actually decent for me, but most people don't like it. So they introduced the touchscreen back, and I thought they were going to rework the dash. Instead, they sit it on top. Aesthetically, it's not the best looking thing because it, you know, it, not, it would be nice if it was flush to the dash or they moved those vents around, but they didn't change any of that. Um, which is okay. It's going to work really well and it's a welcome improvement over the current design. The, the, the touch screen is much, or the screen itself is much, much closer to uh, the person. They moved it away from the windshield, brought it up close to the vents, and it's going to be much more functional. So, of course, we got Apple CarPlay, which we knew it was going to have. Uh, at least I knew, and I've been talking about it for a long time. Um, we finally got confirmation about Android Auto, which finally the first Lexus ever to have Android Auto. I just hope Lexus can put Android Auto on their other current vehicles that supports Apple CarPlay. I hope they have an update for that. The USBs, so many USBs, six of them. Um, super excited for that. And then I saw an image as well that two of those USBs are going to be in the armrest and the, and the bench seats, on the, uh, the second row seat. You have two in the front, 
Um, and now they have a little phone holder there. They have two in the armrest in the back, and they also have an additional two below the vents in the back. So the center console, they have vents on that, and then there's gonna be two USBs below that, which is freaking awesome. So there's your six. Suspension upgrades, I really didn't expect them to do that. Um, it's gonna ride better, more responsive, and smoother. Uh, sign me up, that sounds freaking amazing. Um, and then the F-Sports, they're gonna put a cold air intake on the performance package of it. Um, and they have two different F-Sports now. They have a basic trim, and then they also have uh, trim plus performance upgrades, which is gonna include the, the revised adaptive variable suspension, um, that cold air intake I just mentioned, um, and maybe a couple other things. But to me, shoot, the RX is <laughs> it's not a race car to begin with. I don't need all those extra performance things. I love how the F-Sport looks. So I think uh, if I were getting a new RX, I would just definitely get the F-Sport appearance package. Pricing we don't know yet. I'm assuming it's gonna be very similar, maybe a couple hundred bucks more for the base model. Um, but overall, it is a better car. So I would not, if I was in the market, I would not be upset with the price going up a little bit because the vehicle is superior now in just about every way compared to a 19. Like I said, the biggest upgrades, guys, are the small visual tweaks uh, that they needed to do to make it more visually appealing. Um, not only to people upgrading, but to, to draw people in from other brands. And of course, technologically speaking, we finally, finally, finally uh, have the Android Auto and Alexis and Apple CarPlay on an RX. Um, it's not just me, I have, I have a person that's been waiting months and months and months to hear when we're gonna be getting uh, Apple CarPlay on the RX. Uh, they haven't bought a car yet, thankfully. Um, now that they know, you know, roughly when it's coming out, uh, late September, October, they're, they're pretty excited. So uh, I think Lexus did themselves a big one here. Uh, this car just can't, can't come out soon enough. I wish it was here already, uh, ready for summer, because summer is the biggest selling time for all car companies, at least here in the States. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, I know it's a different video. If you, if you haven't pressed that like button, go ahead and do that. Um, if you want to see more walking vlogs, I'd be happy to. Gets me out of the house. Um, gets me one with nature in some ways with the lawn mowers and the, the trees, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.